everybody. This is Thomas Stünkel, founder of commissioningcoach.com, a commissioning engineer and a commissioning manager. Welcome to part six of my 10 parts commissioning video mini training. Today I will speak about key element number five, commissioning. And this mind map you can download as well from my download section on commissioningcoach.com. And if you are a member of my online commissioning training, you can even download a high resolution image or this mind map in PDF format. So let's start with a detailed explanation of key element number five, commissioning. The nine key elements of successful plant commissioning. Element five, commissioning. What is commissioning? I will give you here a few definitions. Commissioning is usually the phase in a project after pre-commissioning when design process fluids are introduced to the systems and subsystems. Sometimes commissioning means running the systems with a safe fluid only, safe fluid like water. Commissioning moves the project from the end of construction closed to the commercial operation status as well a nice definition and we have as well in our api recommended practice one fsc since july 2013 a definition and this definition goes like that group of energized and dynamic tests that constitute verification that each system or subsystem is fabricated, installed, cleaned and tested in accordance with design and the systems are ready for startup. And here a hint, a complete, well-planned and accurately documented commissioning effort is one of the key factors that contributes to a trouble-free startup. This is our next step. Then we have as well, I call it a gray area. Some expressions like cold commissioning and hot commissioning. But this is used in different industry and in different plants a little bit differently. I try to explain this here a little bit more in detail to get an understanding. Cold commissioning. This can be usually divided into dry commissioning and wet commissioning. What does it mean, dry commissioning? Dry commissioning, these are tests and procedures that are conducted without solvents or process fluids yet introduced to the plant. A solvent, a solvent is a safe fluid which is similar to the process fluid but not as dangerous as the process fluid. Just for understanding what a solvent is. And sometimes this is already done during pre-commissioning. Some example activities like interlock and emergency shutdown tests or control system sequence checks. On the other side we have the wet commissioning and this means water or a solvent has been introduced into the systems or subsystems. Tests and procedures conducted with water or this solvents. So we can play here a little bit operating scenarios and we see like the systems behave. Some example activities, running pumps with closed loops or interlock and emergency shutdown tests. So this is dry and wet commissioning and this belongs usually to our cold commissioning. On the other side we have the hot commissioning. Another synonym is as well live commissioning. And this means 
design process fluids are introduced to the systems and subsystems. And the activities, what we are doing there, they are similar to the wet commissioning activities, like running pumps with a closed loop. RFC. This is a milestone which we have to reach before we can continue with commissioning. This is the milestone ready for commissioning, like you learned in the previous video. Pre-commissioning activities are completed and the systems are ready to commence commissioning. And we should have a protocol about it. And our API recommended practice 1FSC says RFC, this is a minor milestone in project when pre-commissioning activities for a discipline like electrical, instrumentation, mechanical, piping and so on are essentially complete and ready to commence commissioning. What about safety during commissioning? We have to think about safety very carefully. For example, PTW, our permit to work system, is it adequate or do we have to establish a complete new permit to work system? Usually if you build a plant and there is a crew which operates another plant nearby and the crew will take over later on the system, then they already have a PTW system in place. But you have to check, is this PTW system adequate for your commissioning process? Security. Sometimes we have to fence our facilities and we have to conduct access controls, protection from ongoing construction areas and so on. Emergency response. We have to have emergency response procedures. They must be in place and the commissioning staff has to be trained in their role in such procedures. And you have to do as well practical drills to confirm is it really effective. Here is a list of some common commissioning activities. Functional checks in our plant, operating adjustments, a final leak testing, a final drying, purging, inerting activities, first fills with process media, operation of systems and subsystems, completion of our system turnover and completion package. So a lot of documentation is ongoing there. In which sequence should we do the commissioning of our systems, of our plant? Commissioning of the facilities will be carried out on a system by system and a unit by unit basis. So this is the basic. But we should utilize a backwards approach. What does it mean? It means we should go from the back end Okay, at first we need the control systems, DCS, PLC and everything, but then when it comes to the process, the first what we need is utilities like air, nitrogen, water, steam. And then we will need the product storage and the tank systems and loading systems. Later on we need our core process units like reaction and distillation. After this we will need the raw material feeds and then the raw materials storage. So backwards means backwards from the process. Commissioning procedures. We have a lot of different commissioning procedures. Examples are commissioning procedures for utilities and for services and special commissioning procedures for our commissioning with water or a solvent and this we need for each system. And then again another commissioning procedure just with 
commissioning with the process fluid and this as well for each system. So we have a lot of different procedures there. I want to give you an interface example and this is from a real petrochemical plant. Interfaces like operations and maintenance. Who is this done by? In our example this has been done by the company and it means hands-on activities for commissioning and startup operation and performance test as well of the plant under the direction, advice and supervision of the contractor's commissioning staff, but directly coordinated, supervised by company's commissioning staff. Product quality control as well done by the company. Performing product quality control laboratory analysis for the new facilities under the supervision of the contractor during the commissioning and performance test phase, but done by the company. Production planning. When you come into the commissioning status, you will produce as well a little bit product and you have to think in particular conjunction with the production planning. And this has to be done together by company and contractor. Companies production planning for the existing facilities and contractors production plan for the commissioning and operation of the new facilities must be integrated during the commissioning, startup and initial operation phase. This commences with first requirements for fuel gas and other things from the existing plant for boilers startup and heaters dry out through initial feedstock transfer and final product storage, blending and shipping. Emergency response, security and safety. This has to be done as well together by company and contractor. Contractors emergency response plan for commissioning will require the support of company and company's local facilities and services. The new plant will be integrated with the existing facilities at commissioning and startup. Security of the new facilities requires coordination with the existing. Operations, safety procedures and permit system for the new facilities must be coordinated with the existing facilities from initial commissioning and startup. Maintenance support. This is done by company. Company will perform hands-on duties and give technical support during commissioning and startup for routine maintenance activities and checks. Such works will be coordinated with company's maintenance team. For example, if you are running in a pump, then the maintenance support by the company will check the temperature and vibration at the pumps. Vendors. Vendors are handled by contractor. All commissioning activities by contractor's vendor specialists will be carried out under the supervision of contractor's commissioning team. And the licensor. Where necessary, the process licensor may supervise the commissioning of relevant systems and provide technical assistance. Process operating parameters and conditions will be advised by process licensors, process engineers. PSSR, maybe you already heard this abbreviation. PSSR means pre-startup safety review and this is the last step in our commissioning process. Usually a PSSR will be done by systems and usually it's managed by the commissioning manager 
and the client commissioning team joins this PSSRs as well. And the contractor commissioning team is as well there. Maybe just with selected people, but they will be there as well. And the licensor is required for such actions as well. When the PSSR has been done, then we come to another milestone, RFSU. And this means ready for startup. Recommended practice 1FSC says here, RFSU, ready for startup, means signifies that system construction, pre-commissioning and commissioning work are complete and the required safety verification is ready to commence startup. And this milestone has to be put down in the protocol as well. So, when we reached successfully the milestone ready for startup, then we can go further. Let's summarize some main topics of the lesson commissioning. You got a definition of the term commissioning, but you know as well there is a gray area with expressions like cold commissioning, hot commissioning, wet commissioning, dry commissioning, and so on. You know what does it mean? ready for commissioning and you know as well in which sequence you should do the commissioning. We spoke about the interfaces, client, vendor, contractor, licensor. And you know at the end of the commissioning we have to do a PSSR, pre-startup safety review. And then we reach the next milestone ready for startup. And about startup I will speak in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. The best would be you would sign up on commissioningcoach.com for my newsletter and I will keep you up to date about new commissioning training lessons. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thomas Stünkel.